If you trust Amazon to recommend the best kids bike to you, then you buy a Royal Baby Bike. With over 14,000 reviews, 4.5 stars, and the coveted Amazon's Choice banner, the Royal Baby Freestyle must be as good as it gets, right? If you haven't already figured this out, let us break it to you. Amazon's choice isn't always the best choice, and 4.5 star doesn't always mean the product lives up to such a superior rating. So how many stars does the Royal Baby Freestyle bike actually deserve? 3 if we're being generous. It's a pretty solid bike for the price, but has a lot of drawbacks. Royal Baby problem in a nutshell. There are a lot of truly terrible kids bikes out there. Just go to any big box store and head to the bike section. Royal Baby is not one of those truly terrible bikes. It's actually a lot better than a typical Walmart bike, but it's still not great. Definitely not 4.5 stars great. For now, simply focus on how short the 14-inch Royal Baby is compared to the longer blue 14-inch bike. This greatly limits the space for a child to maneuver and also greatly limits the time that a child can ride the bike before they grow out of it. This is the main problem with Royal Baby bikes, but there are other issues as well. Put all these issues together and the result is a bike that makes learning to ride quite difficult. We understand that many parents are attracted to the price point and Amazon stars of Royal Baby. So in Thai video, we hope to convince you to spend a little more on a better bike and also offer better budget-friendly suggestions. Sizing of Royal Baby bikes. While Royal Baby freestyle bikes come in five different sizes, we tested the 14-inch and 16-inch models. These bikes look nearly identical, but they have unique issues depending on the size. The 14-inch bike is marketed to three, four-year-olds, while the 16-inch bike is marketed to four, five-year-olds. We'll first discuss the sizing issues of the 14-inch Royal Baby Freestyle. Royal Baby Sizing Overview Sizing Seat Height for 14-inch Freestyle The 14-inch Freestyle has a seat height range of 19.25-inch, 22-inch, with less than 3-inch of range. The bike doesn't offer much room for growth. This is especially problematic at an age where kids are growing like weeds. To be fair, most 14-inch bikes don't offer much room for growth, which is a downside for 14-inch bikes in general. Seat height should be set for flat feet or solid tip toes for a rider using training wheels. The saddle needs to be low enough so that they can touch the ground either flat-footed or with solid tip toes. For balanced bike graduates that are not using training wheels, flat feet is ideal when first learning, and as they master pedaling, the seat height can be raised so they can touch with tiptoes. Being able to touch the ground allows the rider to learn to start the bike on their own. Even more importantly, it allows a child to use their feet to help them stop and to keep themselves upright if they start to fall. Royal Baby's lowest seat height is too high for many riders. Royal Baby Sizing Church states that their freestyle 14-inch bike is a good fit for kids 37.4 inch, 47.2 inch tall. It is quite common for a manufacturer to state a very wide, unrealistic height range. That's where we come in to help you hone in on a bike that will be a great fit for your child. She can comfortably touch the ground with her toes, which is safe for rider with training wheels, and would also be okay for balanced bike graduate without training wheels. At the saddle's maximum height, we have our 45 inch tall, 5 year old tester. Well within the stated height range, she's on solid tiptoes, but she's clearly too big for this small bike. Wait, Royal Baby's heavy steel frame a lot of handle. While the Royal Baby bikes are better than your average budget bike, they still weigh a lot. With a heavy steel frame and heavy components, the Royal Baby Freestyle 314 inch weighs in at 21.7 pounds with training wheels. That's a lot of weight for a toddler to handle. The Royal Baby Freestyle 516 inch weighs 23.3 pounds with training wheels. That's a lot of weight for a four or five year old to handle. Royal Baby 14 inch, our tall barely 3 year old tester was already 39.5 inch tall. Well within Royal Baby's stated height range for the freestyle 14 inch, she's a solid little nugget at 38 pounds. At that weight, the Royal Baby comes in at 57% of her body weight. That's like a 150 LB, adult riding an 85 LB. Bike, when she first rode the Royal Baby, she had already been riding a pedal bike for about two months. She was confident in her skills and also an aggressive rider. Although she couldn't start the bike on her own, she honestly didn't have much trouble riding the Royal Baby without the training wheels on flat surfaces. But hills quickly become problematic and fatigue is going to set in a lot more quickly. Royal Baby 16 inch, a year and a half later, this little rider, now 4.5, is very strong and very confident. She was able to manage the weight of the Royal Baby 16 just fine but usually needed to stand up to pedal to get the bike started. She also had to gain significantly more speed before attempting to climb her regular ramps at the skate park. The heavy weight of the Royal Baby 16 will be much more problematic for your average rider. Our other 4.5-year-old tester is a confident rider, but not as strong or aggressive. And at just 38 pounds, 
The Royal Baby 16 is 57% of her body weight. She had great difficulty getting the bike started, and even crashed at one point because she couldn't gain any momentum. Watching her ride the Royal Baby, it looked like she was a timid rider with little skill, solely because it was so hard for her to maneuver this bike. Brakes, not an ideal setup. Royal Baby Freestyle bikes are now offered in two different models. The Royal Baby Freestyle 3 has a front hand brake and a rear coaster brake. This is the model with over 10,000 Amazon reviews. The newer Royal Baby Freestyle 5 has dual hand brakes and no coaster brake on all wheel sizes. Royal Baby Freestyle 3, front hand brake, rear coaster brake. The brakes on the Royal Baby Freestyle 14 inch are not going to help your child's riding experience. In the rear, you have a coaster brake or back pedal brake. Based on their Amazon listing, all sizes come with a coaster brake. Back pedal brakes make learning to ride more difficult because children have a natural tendency to pedal backwards. With a coaster brake, pedaling backwards will only stop the bike. This sudden stop causes a child to lose all of their forward momentum and potentially even crash. While many more expensive bikes come with an option to remove the coaster brake, the Royal Baby does not. The Royal Baby also features a front wheel hand brake on the left hand. The brake is single pivot style which has very limited stopping power. It's an older style of brake that good quality bikes generally don't use anymore. Out of the box, our brake cable didn't have enough tension to provide any stopping power at all. If you want this brake to work, you may need to YouTube how to adjust a brake cable. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.